Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or simply hoping to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Richard, today we're going to talk about weaponizing persuasion. This is the one that scares me. Is it? Remember yesterday, I said this is a feels like a bit of a slippery slope. Yeah. Because you don't want to be conspiratorial. Mm-hmm. You know, you and I are not conspiratorial of the earth. Not typically. And Except when it comes to ancient aliens. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that they helped with the pyramids. <laughs> and Stonehenge. So, so let's say... This word weaponizing, yeah, um, you know, you 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 see it the first time, and you think, well, maybe this is overstating the case. Mm-hmm. The case being, our video, our is digital media mm-hmm. purposely designed to get users hooked. Yeah, that's that's the topic we're we're discussing today, and this is called weaponizing persuasion, and persuasion refers to persuasive technology, right. which we've discussed that the digital technologies are specifically designed to make you use them right. over and over and over and over, and to keep you using right. them. Right. Okay? And so this second part of this discussion is weaponizing yeah. persuasion. Yeah. And so, you know, just building from that, you know, the yeah. idea that, well, we, 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 we talked yesterday about the, um, you know, intermittent uh, reinforcers, um, and and how how powerful of a reinforcement right. schedule that is. Every to... psychologist in the country teaches mm-hmm. that intermittent reinforcement is the strongest right type. Of That's your slot machines. Those slot the... machines. Yeah. And, and and what we're what we have here with the idea of weaponizing persuasion mm-hmm. is we're we're throwing out cookies. We're throwing out little. You don't get cookies like on the computer. Not on the computer. That was like good. Computer cookies. No, See, but I did. that was I'm good. There, right? Yeah, that was. Okay. That was fantastic. I'm so proud of myself. Techno. I am too. Techno. That's great. You mean cookies, cookie crumbs like Hansel and Gretel? Yes. Okay. And and um or Reese's pieces like uh, ET. Oh, ET. Yeah, there you go. Bring it, so, bring it um, even closer to the present. <laughs> but but that is. What's happening with a lot of the video games is that they, and the technology is that there's uh, little pieces that are dropped here and there. And, you know, if you accomplish this task, you may get this reward. Mm-hmm. Or if you do this, then you may get that reward. You know, in, um, in Snapchat, for example, there's a thing called streaks, right? I d- wouldn't Don't know. know that one. Uh, streaks, I have a Snapchat. I know you do. But I forget to use it. I know you do. I have um, Instagram too. I know you do. I don't know how to use it, but I have it. I know you do. You have a Facebook oh. that you don't use because you're not sure how to use you it. Meant, this is interesting that you mentioned Facebook because Mark Zuckerberg is going to testify. Today is his first day to testify mm-hmm. uh, in, co- in, front at, at, um, in Congress about this um, um, uh, yeah. analytica, Cambridge Analytica scandal mm-hmm. that's been in the news, which is about this very topic. Right. That Well, not this topic, but related to this topic, mm-hmm. is that um, these things like Snapchat, Instagram, video games, Facebook, cell phones, are specifically designed to keep people using them. Right. Um, but we'll talk about... Cambridge Analytica later in the week. Right. Um, what what role that plays, and it's interesting that, um, and and quite by accident that we're talking about this mm-hmm. when Mark Zuckerberg is going to be testifying right. in front of Congress about these issues. Yeah. But today's issue is about how these things keep you attached. Right. Keep you going. Keep right. you moving. Keep you keep you playing. Right. So Snapchat has these streaks. What is a streak? And so, you what you want to do? What the goal is is to snap with someone every day in a row so your, your streak is how many days in a row you're you're connecting to somebody with somebody same person or somebody with some with the same person okay so, so you can have you and i could have a streak okay um 
you know, Dr. Ellen and I could have a streak, you know. What do you wife, get for having a streak? You're, you're, you get a, a bigger number for your streak. I don't know. I mean, do kids talk about this? Like, we have a streak that goes 100? After, on Sunday, uh, this past Sunday, after our soccer match um, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon or so, um, I heard my son, my son pulled his phone out because uh, he, he, you know, was checking stuff. And he says, uh, oh, no, I forgot to do my streaks for the day. Um, and so then he went through and he did all of his streaks. So, so, so it's, that's another example of how it keeps us engaged because, you know, it creates these little uh, awards that you get or little badges that you get or, um, you know, uh, acknowledgments that you get when you attain a particular level and so the goal is to achieve that level and they do it very very well so it's not that you get anything for it it's just the bragging rights right of, I have a we have a streak of this and mm -hmm. we have a streak of that so do you know what a hula hoop is you know what a yo-yo is are you talking about the toys the toys yeah yeah okay so we in our day we would say well I did this 200 times right or I did a pogo stick 500 times or I did a hula hoop 600 times. So it's the same kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And we would go back and use it. We would do it over and over and over right. again. Okay. To try to get a higher number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. It's just digital. Right. Right. And more compelling because right. you have many more tentacles. Mm hmm So Connor could have, your son could have 10 people he's doing that with. Or more. Or, yeah, more. Or more than yeah. 10. Yeah. And, and, and the goal, again, is because of the way that and this is where the persuasive technology comes in, is that they, you know, if you achieve this level, if you do it this many times, you'll get a badge. Now that badge means nothing. You do get a badge? Um, I don't know about that necessarily with the streaks, but in, in different games or a different um, oh, know, okay. technology. So you can say what you've achieved. Right. I've achieved mm -hmm. purple. Right. It's like a belt in karate. Mm -hmm. I've achieved, and so when you go to school the next day, you can talk about it. Right what you've achieved mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah so so you know all of these things have these missions or these goals and things like that and it keeps you engaged because it's they're set just high enough towards ambitious but not so high that it's unattainable okay. and so you, you 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 know as long as you're persistent you, you're going to get to it and it's it's really it's really interesting so the designers are designing games that keep you playing right. Um, the, the goal is to keep you on mm -hmm. that screen. Right. Why? Because the more that you play, mm -hmm. the more that you, are, the more that you're in, engaged in a, in a particular game, the more likely you are, you know, with some of these things, to to get money. You know, the, certainly the company is going to gain money, with, whether it's, you know, Snapchat or, um, in, in, you know, any of the games. They have advertisers that will get more revenue when they when the ads come up or they, uh, you know, some of the games will have loot crates, and so loot. you can loot L O O T. Mm -hmm. So you can you can buy things. You know, when you achieve a certain level, you can buy things or for the game. Right. But what what's really interesting is if you're having a difficult time achieving a level, it's okay. You just buy a loot crate, and the loot crate will get you all the things or most of the things that you would get if you once you attain you, that you level. You buy it with money. You can buy it with real money. Okay. Right. So we call them microtransactions. So. In TV days, um, we would watch programs, mm -hmm. and they would get us right to the edge, yep. and, and then they would break for a commercial, mm -hmm. because they wanted to keep you there, right? To make sure you didn't go somewhere, right? They wanted to, they wanted to advertise, mm -hmm. so this is the same thing. They want to keep you on the screen, right? Because ads are going to come up, mm -hmm. okay? And that happens with Snapchat, Instagram, video games. All these things it'll it'll happen with a lot of those things yeah okay um, so the the goal is to keep you looking so that you keep buying right right okay yeah and that's built and that's what they mean by weaponizing persuasion is right. that this is the same kind of advertising we see on TV except that it's geared mainly for children mm -hmm. teenagers mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of, of their competitive zeal um, but yet adults will do the same thing. Oh, sure. I mean, that's what keeps you on Facebook. Right. And the longer you're on Facebook, the more ads you see. Right. Okay. So the goal is to keep you, right. keep and it, you watching TV, keep you glued to Facebook, right. keep you doing the video games. Right. And the technology is so advanced that the ads that you see 
are particular to you. So they are They're related to th you. the things that you've looked up recently or the things that you are, you know, you tend to click on, you know, they, they are, they're specific to you. So like when I go to Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, there's a, there's a, a column of ads on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, it, it's typical that I'll go there and I, you know, all those ads are from soccer.com. Cause they know where you've been, right? They can tell where mm -hmm. you've been. So it's mm -hmm. like Amazon, people right. who have bought this also mm -hmm. like the, or right. you've bought these. So you might be interested in mm -hmm. these. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the goal here is to collect the information about mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. so that ads can be targeted to you. Right. Whereas TV, if it's a free to lay commercial, it's right. a free to lay commercial. Right. And everybody in a region gets that. Maybe right. not everybody in the country gets it, right. but everybody in the region gets it. When you're doing, when you're on the computer, you're seeing ads. I'm seeing different ads than you're right. seeing. Okay. Right. So it's, so it's targeted it's at an, you. It's an amazing algorithm okay. that they use. And these are all algorithms. They're right. mathematical mm -hmm. formulas. Yeah. Now, when it comes to children, mm -hmm. and, and it applies to both children and adults, the problem here is that the persuasive design mm -hmm. is based on psychological principles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the psychological principles are, and I'll put my glasses on to make sure I get this right. One is um, that they keep you there because they're appealing to basic human drives. What right. the psychologists have provided mm -hmm. is these are the basic human drives. Right. This is how the brain works. Mm -hmm. This is how what the brain is responding to. And if you want somebody to keep doing something, this is what you should do. Okay. Right. So the two principles that psychologists have provided to designers mm -hmm. are one is to achieve a goal, mm -hmm. to, to keep moving toward a goal. And we've right. talked about that in the past. We mm -hmm. talked about success right. is achieving a goal. Um, this illusion that you're learning something or you're getting better at mm -hmm. something, not, not necessarily an illusion, but, but the feeling that I'm getting better mm -hmm. at this right. is a basic human need. Right. We want to get better at things. The other basic human need is to be social. Mm -hmm. To be connected to mm -hmm. other people and so psychologists have said these are the things that you need to do mm -hmm. and it works elegantly with um, teenagers because girls mm -hmm. are using social media that more than boys boys use it right. girls use it more boys play video games girls also play video games but more boys play video games mm -hmm. so it's also sex based right Right. Yeah. There, there's certainly some aspects of of it being, um, yeah, gender. You uh, rarely, I mean, you rarely hear of a girl being. Um, uh, parents come come in and they say she's addicted to self her cell phone. Mm -hmm. Where with boys, he's addicted to video games. Right. Typically. Yeah. Typically. That's what we hear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's appealing to what those kids mm -hmm. do at that age right what boys and girls do at that age right mm -hmm. yeah there, there's a there's a hugely popular video game going right right now called Fortnite. Mm -hmm. have you not heard how um, what i know I, I just like to no, ask I'm, that, I'm, so that you oddly, have to say no. oddly i missed that one so but but the 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 interesting fascinating thing about Fortnite is uh it's free uh the 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 um oh i can't remember the 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 particular part, the particular game, Fortnite, um, not Royal Rumble. I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's a free game. Now, the company that makes Fortnite, they have a paid game as well, but this is a free you have game. You pay for most video games, right? Okay. All right. This is a free video game, and but what what's it's so massive right now. The when you go in to play it, um, you're you're dropped into a map almost like Hunger Hunger Games style. You're dropped into a map, and there's a storm coming in from the outside, pushing everybody to the middle, right? Mm -hmm. They drop 100 people in there, and, and it's real people from all over the world, and, and they're battling last man standing, mm -hmm. okay? You, if you think about how many people are playing, so that any time you go on, you're going to be thrown in with 100 people. There are millions of people playing this free game. Now, then you, you know, that leads a lot of these folks to going in and getting the paid game. This is so much fun 
mm -hmm. that I'm, I'll buy the game. Mm -hmm. And and there's um, other, they have um, no, they have the free merchandise. Game they at, have at, sell stuff. Mm -hmm. The free game sells you things. I I think so. Um, they I, I I'm not I'm not sure about that part. They, if they have the the loot crates and things like that, but um, what's so compelling about this game? It, it's a it's a first person shooter. Well, it's like a third person shooter. You're behind the person, but um, you it, it's. The, the graphics aren't terrific, mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, when you when you make a kill, um, you can get the guy to do a dance, you know, it, it's, I don't know. I don't know what makes it so much different than other similar games, mm -hmm. except that it's free. But but that, and, and ask all of your patients today, any anybody under the age of 25, Fortnite. Fortnite. Okay. Ask them if they play Fortnite. All right. Um, most of them, if not all of them, boys and girls. Mostly um, boys. Mostly boys, but I right. think but girls, girls know too. Yep. So, but it's but this is that persuasive technology. This is the weaponizing persuasion because they get you engaged mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. They do something to to make you interested in it, mm -hmm. and and then they'll 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 throw out little things like. Right. Um, with that game, they they did this thing where you could, if you contacted them, I think you had to contact them, they would send you a code so that you could get the mobile version of it if you had an Apple device. Hmm. Um, and they then Keep you could you get connected. the then you could get the mobile version of it. And right. so now everybody has the mobile version of it. Right. Um, if you have an Apple device, people with Android, they're like bummed. They're like, I don't have an Apple device, so I can't. So I don't know. I don't know if the Android version is coming maybe, or not. Maybe but Apple funded this company. You right? know, it, it's it's fascinating. Right. Um, it's just a fascinating process. But clearly, what today's podcast is about is mm -hmm. when we talk about weaponizing persuasion, um, we're talking about, and one of the things that I think parents should know, but I think adults mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. should know, is that you are being manipulated. And, and that's the, the entire goal here is right. to manipulate you. And, and adults their, are being manipulated with Facebook and all the, thing, and pin, the things Pinterest. that they do. I mean, how many, how many messages do you get from Pinterest? None. Hey, there's... I know you don't. It's okay. Um, but how do many you messages... Get messages from Pinterest? Oh, that's right. Because you knit and all that stuff. You do face... You do... Uh, Pinterest what, isn't what's a knitting. Thing called, what's that stuff called? Uh, scrapbooking. You do all that stuff. Cooking and scrapbooking. You know what? That sounds very judgmental. Sex, racist, sexist, sexist. It's not racist. It's not racist. <laughs> sexist. No, you do all that girl stuff. So, <laughs> no, when I think of Pinterest, Pinterest on today, when I think of Pinterest, I think most of the conversations I hear about Pinterest are cooking and that sort of stuff. That's why I mentioned that. I no, I've, I've actually <clears> found <throat> a lot of things on team building activities on um, Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Teaching, see, yeah. A lot of teachers use Pinterest. I just, I just hear... There's a lot of educational things. Um, sometimes people, you know, there are conversations in my house and they'll talk about, well, I saw this recipe on Pinterest or I saw this thing on Pinterest. You know, I don't know about the conversations that happen in your house. Well, they're, they're, women, they're women talking. And they're, <laughs> they're trading recipes. And I don't know what they do. That's all, the only thing I hear about Pinterest, you know some of these people. I do know some of those people. And so, um, and they, they talk about recipes on Pinterest. I don't know what Pinterest is. I, I do know that people post things on it. But I love it because I feel like you're digging. Digging deeper and deeper. You're trying to dig yourself out of a hole. And it's getting deeper. No, but but you get No, messages. I'm obviously not a right, user. Right. Yeah. No, it, but, it's, but they send you these messages and say, hey, you know, this person just, you know. Because um, they you know, know what you've done. Yeah. Right. And that, so that's the whole thing here. Anything you do, mm -hmm. somebody's keeping track of. Yeah. Okay. Let there be no doubt. And that's right. what today's is about. Let there be no doubt that everything you do, mm -hmm. every person you contact, every website you contact, everything you buy, mm -hmm. everything you even think about buying mm -hmm. is being... Um, my daughter was at the University of Florida and we would periodically get mm -hmm. hotel rooms mm -hmm. together. I get a hotel room advertisement every week from Gainesville, yeah. Florida, every single week. And she hasn't been there for a year. Yeah. Okay. We haven't had a hotel room there for probably two years. Yeah. And, um, and I get a, I get an ad every week mm -hmm. from, from hotels in Gainesville. Okay. Yeah. They know, I mean, 
everything you do is being tracked yeah. and used. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to keep you on that screen, right. just as it was in the old days with TV. Mm -hmm. And that's why TV right. breaks. You know, they have timeouts right. and sporting events. Oh, yeah. um, and that's when they do their ads, but don't go anywhere because something exciting is about to happen. In some sporting events, not soccer. Can't do that with soccer, can you? Mm -mm. You can't take a bathroom break or go to the concession no. stand. Oh, so I'd have to sit for there it. for 90 minutes? 45. And you get a halftime break. Oh, halftime break. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. That's now, it for no, that's not it for today. I have more to add. This is the gender specific issue. Okay. Video games are obsessive, mm -hmm. compelling mm -hmm. to boys because they give the illusion of competence. Okay. You, you really believe that you're getting better mm -hmm. at something. And you are because you can measure it. Mm -hmm. You know, Skinner told us that years ago that right. you have to keep track. And so it's very easy to keep track of your progress. Mm -hmm. And your progress is being manipulated by the designer mm -hmm. because it's going to go at the rate you go. If right. you go slow, it goes slow. If you go fast, it goes fast. And so it's, it's really tailored to the user. Um, with girls, it's the illusion. Being with social media. With social media. Being digital is easier than real life. Sure. Okay. It, it's easier to function socially mm -hmm. because you have much more control when you're doing it on your phone than when you're doing it in person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you can track popularity mm -hmm. now. You can track your likes. You right. can track your streaks. You can keep track of how popular you are. Right. There's no doubt about it because I got 100 likes. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just much easier to do this digitally than it is to do it in real life. Mm -hmm. The problem in both cases is that because they're addictive, because they're so compelling, because you're kept on the screen, the if you spend five hours on a screen, it's five hours that you're not doing real life. No matter what right. other benefits there might be, mm -hmm. you're not doing real life, right. and that's the problem. You see couples in restaurants on their cell phones. Mm -hmm. They're giving up a real relationship to mm -hmm. have a digital relationship. But the digital relationship is easier. Right. Real life is messy. Real life is hard. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this stuff is just a lot easier. Mm -hmm. It's easier for boys to compete in a video game because it's private. Right. If you lose in a sporting event, everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. If you lose in a video game, nobody knows it. Right. And so it, it, it keeps your ego intact. Yeah. You can talk about winning. You don't have to talk about losing because nobody knows right. that you've lost. Yeah. Very seductive stuff. Yeah. And it is very addicting and it's meant to be addicting. Yeah. It's designed to be addictive. So when you say my daughter's addicted to her cell phone, it's designed to be addictive. Right. And I think that needs to be discussed. Okay. We are going to talk about addictive behaviors right. in a couple of Later. days. Right. Um, cause I still have some thoughts about that. So, well, but the designers okay. are, the designers are making them addictive. They're yeah. doing it. They're designing them to be addictive and they're using psychologists. Right to accomplish that goal. We'll talk about that. And these are troublesome topics, but we yeah. have to talk about them. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're I'm not right. blaming anybody for it. I'm just saying this is... This just is, be aware that it's happening. It is. It is that, that the devices are meant to be compelling. Yeah. Or addicting. All right. Is that it? All right. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid. Thanks for sharing this episode of the Mental Breakdown and Psych Ridge podcast. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you will find all of our previous podcasts and much more. We would be honored if you would become a patron through patreon.com where any donation you can manage will go to the development and creation of more content. Just visit patreon.com slash the mental breakdown for more information. Thanks again for listening. Have an awesome day and we look forward to being back in your feed tomorrow morning.